Hey, I'm Noah from Coventry Domains, specifically the Disruptive Media Learning Lab, and we look after Coventry Domains. And I'm going to show you today how you can make a portfolio site and all the way from start to finish. So whether you're a student looking to make a site for like a class project or whether you're an academic and you want to make your professional portfolio site, um, this is what you do. It's the same process you'd follow if you want to make any website with Coventry Domains. Um, super easy and we're going to just do a quick example of a photography student who wants to make his photography portfolio site. So the idea is that maybe he would take this after university and it would be his professional website. So the first thing we do is we're going to come to coventry.domains. This is where the magic happens and it's where you can learn more about coventry.domains, see why it's good for students uh, for making their, their own portfolios, it's good for educators for teaching and using Coventry Domains for assessments. All kinds of good stuff in here, so so do give it a read. But <clears throat> just to start, we're going to come over to the top right and click Login. And there you're going to get two options for Coventry Domains. The one on the left is called Domain of One's Own. And what this is, is blank web hosting space, where you have to install your own content management system and you sort of manage everything yourself. Uh, you have to request access to that one. But for most people, we think you, you'd like the standard login over here on the right, which is Coventry Domains WordPress. So we're going to be building our portfolio site today with WordPress. And if all you want is a basic WordPress site, this is a fantastic option for you because you can sign up straight away. There's almost no maintenance and you could just start blogging. So we're going to click that one, log in and register for WordPress. Now, normally, because I'm logged in, it's took me to the login page, all signed in and everything. Um, but if you didn't see that, you would just see um, a sort of this kind of page, own your space online with Coventry Domains. You click register, you put in your university credentials, like when you do anything with single sign-on, and that will take you to this page here. So we're inside our Coventry Domains account, and this is how we manage all of our sites, because you can make multiple sites with Coventry Domains, which is great. Um, so we are going to go to this second tab here, create and manage sites, because we want to make a brand new site. And when I click on that, you will see all the sites that you belong to. Um, if you're new to this, you won't have any in here apart from this Coventry Domains WordPress on the top left. And you can also be added to sites. Maybe uh, an educator can add loads of students to one site as a sort of module project. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and add our own sites. So we're gonna come up to the top here and click add new next to my sites. Again, you'll see a list of every site you're already a part of. And I'm going to make a new website. Now my portfolio uh, persona is called Joe. Uh, his name is Joe King. Get it? Um, so I'm going to put in his name here. So Joe King, Coventry dot domains forward slash Joe King. So the URL for the website is going to be WP dot Coventry dot domains forward slash Joe King. So whatever is available, you can put that in there and that will be your website. And that's what you can direct people to. It'll be live on the internet. Um, so I'm going to call this one uh, Joe King uh, Photography something like that. And any site title that you want, this is what would show up in the search engines, um, just like the title of the whole website. You get options for what language you want WordPress to be in. And then there's some privacy options. So by default, your website will be public. Anybody on the internet can view your website. It'll show up in the search engines. You have a few options here. So if you want uh, Google and Bing and others to not scan or crawl your site, you can click search engine block. Uh, and the other popular option is to um, sometimes password protect your site. So if you want to work on it privately or just share it with just your module leader, for example, you can come up with a password here, like, um, I don't know, biscuits, anything you like. And <coughs> the, whoever wants to visit even your homepage will have to put in that password to see it. I'd like mine to be public because this is a public portfolio. We're sharing, we're getting online, we're putting ourselves out there. So we want to make a public website. So we'll click create site. And there we go. We've done it. We've made a website. It's uh, Joe King Photography, and the URL is wp.coventry.domains forward slash Joe King. If I click on that, you'll see what it looks like by default. And this is just a blank, fresh WordPress installation. It looks a little bit like this. Um, the way WordPress works, it's built on blogging. It's built on creating blog posts. So it shows you your first blog post, like a sample demo blog post. And this is sort of the theme and the layout of the site. There's going to be ways to change the layout and there's going to be ways to add new and exciting content so it looks a lot cooler than this but this this is it you've you've if you got this far you've got a website online and you can start editing these posts and pages and, and get going um, but we want to start customizing this a lot more and making it into a real photography website so in order to do that 
you'll see at the top left there will be the title of your website. So this is Joe King Photography, and if I just click um, Dashboard, I'll be taken to the WordPress dashboard. Unlike the dashboard we saw before, which is sort of your account, this is your site. So this is Joe King Photography, the website's dashboard. And you can do lots of things here, but you don't need most of the things that you'll see. The main thing you'll want to do is add posts. So these will be things like blog posts or portfolio pieces, you know, anything that you might update regularly. Uh, and then you also have uh, pages. And pages will be something like a home page, an about page, contact page, that static content that doesn't change very much. That'll be more of a page. So what we'll do for this particular website is start by putting in a few posts for Joe's website. I'm going to add a few portfolio pieces first so you can get a sense of how WordPress works. And then after we've done that, I'll go in and make a page and, and set it up more like a classic portfolio. So <clears throat> just really quickly, there's some other things that you can do, like under appearance, you could change the theme, which we'll do briefly. That's also where you do things like add uh, menus to keep it organized, and we can look at that too. Um, other options here, you don't need to know about most of them straight away to get started, and we've got lots of stuff on this. If you head to um, coventry.domains forward slash support, you'll find lots of videos and articles that tell you what all these things do. So we'll start with some posts there. So I'm going to go to all posts, and you can see these are all the blog posts I have in the world so far, and it's just that blank sample hello world post, which we don't really need that. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, delete that one. So I'll click bin, and it's gone forever. And to add a new post, while I'm in the post menu here, I could just click add new. And this will take me to the WordPress editor. Now, WordPress is super easy to edit online. So if you're used to typing in even uh, Microsoft Word, uh, you can use WordPress. So it's really easy. So uh, for Joe's site, I'm going to do three portfolio projects. And I've got some images that we're going to add in. And it, it's going to be amazing. Uh, the first one I think will be about his work on cityscapes. So I'll just title this one cityscapes. And I've also got some blank dummy text, some Lorem Ipsum copy to my clipboard there, which I've just pasted. But you could just start typing straight away just like any word processor. So if I just, um, if I'm in a paragraph and I hit enter, I can start typing something new. Um, what's cool about the WordPress editor is you can do a lot more than just text. So we can do some more advanced options, again, with our text. If you click this plus button, this blue plus button, you'll see all the different blocks you can add. So every paragraph, every heading, every image is a block. And this block editor is cool because you can move the blocks around each other and change the way some of the blocks display and look. So first of all, I might want a heading. So this might be another section. So this is a new section. And I might want something else like a quote under this one. Um, photography is great. Uh, so that's just kind of like how a block quote would display. You can put like the author in the quote. So those are some like the built-in default things you can do. There's there's loads more here as well. Um, so and we'll get into some of this a little bit later. But you can add in things like blocks of uh, plain code just to display the text. So you can do things like poetry. Uh, you could put in some images, a whole gallery, which we will do with Joe's site. Media and text is quite a cool display. Um, you can do some formatting things. So if you want two column layout, you can pick that one and put some text in one, put some text in the other one, and you have two columns. And there's some other things to do rich media, like you can add YouTube videos or Twitter and Twitter feeds or all kinds of songs, uh, Spotify things or Vimeo. There's, there's lots there. So it's worth having an explore. Just play around with it and see what kind of things you might want to add. Um, so at the moment, Joe's, uh, nothing's published. This is all just in a draft. And to make sure I don't lose anything, I'm just going to click Save Draft. Now, it would be cool to add an image to the cityscapes. Now, um, the way WordPress works, most themes, the way your site displays, depend on a featured image. Because if it's showing everybody a list of the posts that you've done, and it always shows like that one thumbnail image for every post, that's your featured image. And the way you set that is while I'm um, editing this post here, um, I've got some settings, little gear icon. And I could, I've got settings for every block, but I'm going to change the post settings. And here I want to set a featured image. So I want to find a picture, one of Joe's images, that is of a city. It's not actually Joe's picture. I've got it from uh, Pexels, which is the place to get royalty free images. So I'm just going to click upload. And for this site, I'm going to go ahead and actually, can I click everything? I'm going to upload everything. So you can upload more than one thing. I'm just going to choose one of these to be the featured image. But I've got a lot of images to work with today, so I'm just going to upload them all at once. 
And the image that I wanted to display was this one with some cities. So here on the right, you'll see some options when you upload images, things like alt text, which is um, very big for accessibility. Um, so a scene uh, building. It's always great to put that in there so people have an idea what's going on if they're, if they're accessing your site with a screen reader. You can put in captions, you can describe your image, all kinds of stuff, change the title of the image. Um, but that's, that's okay for now. So I'll set that as the featured image. So when we look at this blog in a list of blog posts, that picture will show up. But also, if I want to see what this will look like live on the web, I can have a little preview. So if I click this preview tab, WordPress will ask me if I want to see it on a tablet or a mobile. I'm just going to click desktop, because that's the size I want to look at, and click preview in a new tab. So this is what that blog post would look like. It takes the featured image, and it just puts it very prominently at the top. And then here's my content that we made before with my uh, new heading, with my quote. Um, I could put images within the post, within the body of the post. I can just show you that really quickly. So if I take another one of my images, um, I'll grab an image block and I'll pick from my media library. Those are the ones that we've uploaded. Maybe I'll get this one. This looks a bit city-ish. So I've got an image down there too. So it's within the blog post. Uh, and every time you add a block, there'll be some different options for the block. So for a text block, I might get some options to bold and italicize things. But for an image block, I'll get some other options, like whether I want this to be on the left or over there on the right of my text, or maybe I want this image to stretch and go really wide within my content. So you get some options for how you want to display things. So I think all this looks really good. I'm really happy with the post. I'm going to click publish. Now here you have some other options. You can publish things to be, uh, you can schedule them, sorry, you can schedule them to be uh, in the future. So they will come out in a few weeks. I could also change the date to say I published this a few weeks ago. Uh, and visibility, at the moment, this will be public. Anybody on the web can see it, but I could set it to be password protected. Just this post would have its own password. So that's also a possibility. Um, tagging is also what you can do if you wanted to organize your posts. So maybe on this one about cityscapes, I might put some common words that it would share with other posts, like buildings, all sorts of stuff. And the last thing that I didn't do as well is add a category. So on the post, you can also organize things in categories. So if I have lots of posts that are about like my portfolio projects, I might make a new category called like portfolio. I'll just create that new category. So instead of uncategorized, I want it to be portfolio. But Joe can also go in and just make text-based posts and make that as blogs. So Joe can have a blog and put those in the blog category and have his portfolio pieces in the portfolio category. So WordPress organizes your different posts um, for you. So that's all we can get. I'm gonna click publish and publish. So now it's live on the web. WordPress will give you the link of where that is. Um, I can click view post and this is what it looks like on the internet. If you go to that URL there, you'll be able to see uh, this live um, portfolio piece from Joe's website, which is great. So we're getting there. Uh, what I'm going to do quickly now is just add two more posts, and I'll do that really uh, briefly, just to say, uh, so you can see what it looks like when we add multiple things to WordPress. So I'm going to have a post on um, architecture, if we can spell architecture correctly, and we'll put that in the portfolio. We'll add a featured image. We're going to use that um, curvy building there. Curvy building. So that will be my nice featured image. So I'll just say publish that, so that one's good to go. And I'll do one more post, just so that we have three posts to work with, then everything will make a little bit more sense. Maybe on uh, landscapes. Uh, again, I'll put in my dummy text, and we will add a featured image here, and we'll use this landscape photo there. Put it in portfolio category, and we're ready to publish. Okay. So if we look at uh, Joe's website now, I'll come up to Joe King Photography and click Visit Site. We can see what it looks like live. Um, this theme by default will just show you the most recent blog posts in order. So we saw the first one, then the second one, then the third one. And so we have a list of blog posts. So right away, it's really easy to start a blog and get up and running and, and start to write your blog posts. And we could just leave it there, but we want to go a little bit further. We want to make this look more like a, a portfolio site with a, with a homepage and everything. So in order to do that, we need to create a page to be our homepage, and we're going to need to set the website to point there. So <coughs> again, what I'll do is just go back to the dashboard, and now we can see that we have post, media, 
and pages. So I'm going to look at all the pages I have so far. And just like with post, there's a little sample one that you don't really need, so I'll delete that one. And we're going to add a new page. And we can call it whatever you like. I'm going to call this one home. And let's add some different types of blocks this time. I am going to add another type of block that is called a cover. And a cover is sort of a, a full width image. So here's the one of Joe. So I'll click that one. It's a full width image that you could put some things on. So I'll put like Joe King on there. And that might be a bit small. I'm going to change it into a heading uh, instead of just a just a bit of text. And at the moment, it's fitting within the, the width of the, the body of the post. I just want it to be a bit wider. So I'm going to go full width. So now it's pretty good. Um, I might make a button under here. So I'm just going to click to add. I'll search for it. You can search for blocks. I know that there's a button. Later on, I'm going to make a gallery. So let's just click view gallery. And we can't see that text. So for all the different things you make on the right, there'll be some options to see if you could play with them a little bit. So for this particular button, I can do some things like change the colors and make the text white and the background black. Or maybe we'll make the background white and the text black. So it looks a bit wonky, but it won't look like that when we publish the website. Let's, I'll show you what I mean. I'll just have a little preview. So it looks like it's not aligned, but it actually is. So that can be the kind of header, like the cover of, of Joe's website. Um, doo -doo -doo. So we'll just say that we've got that. That's like the header. After that, I'm going to come in and we're going to do that two column layout this time. So we'll go columns. Let's say 50-50. That's going to be a column on the left, one on the right. And I'll put in some of that text from earlier. Uh, now, we don't need all of it in one. So I'm just going to grab that much and just cut it out of there. And maybe we'll put it on the other side. So we'll go for here. And I might think uh, an image might be good here. And we can do that as well. If I add an image, it'll just show up within this column. Uh, doo -doo -doo. So I'll click here. And my plus button, we'll look for an image. Uh, go one for my media library. Again, I could always upload things. You should be using alt tags when you do images. Uh, I'm just going a little bit quick here because so, it is a demo. So there you go. So we've got um, a bit about Joe. We've got the cover. We've got Joe can talk about himself and introduce who he is and what he does. Put a little bit of text on. That's probably a bit too much text. We'll stop it there. Um, another cool thing we could do on the home page is we can list some of those posts that we saw earlier. So the way we would do that is click plus for new item. I'm going to go latest posts. So all of those things we did before, landscapes, architecture, cityscapes, those were all posts we've made and they dynamically have been brought onto our homepage now. And we have some options for how those will display. I'm going to make them display as a grid. So I'll click that little icon there. And on the right, I'll have some options for my latest post block. I would like it to, for example, display the featured image. And I want the featured images to be bigger, so let's go maybe large. I'll go with medium, and we'll see how it displays on the front end. And I might display a little bit of post content, so you can see some of what he wrote there. Maybe just limit the number of words so it doesn't get too overwhelming. And I can also change how wide this block of post is, so maybe I want that to be a little bit wider and show up like that. So I think this is good so far. I'm just going to save my draft so I don't lose any work. And we're just going to preview this, come up to a new tab. And it's just going to show us what it looks like. So it's looking pretty good. We've got that big cover. We've got some text to introduce Joe. And we've got some of his most recent work. If we wanted to, we could do some other things like put in like a contact information or um, <coughs> some more images. I think the one other thing I said I would do is a, is a gallery. So let me just add that really quickly. And then we're going to start theming our website. So let's put in a gallery block. Um, do, 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 do. Actually, we we're going to make a whole page be a gallery, weren't we? Let's um, not do that. To get rid of a block, I could just hit backspace. Uh, I'm happy with this one. I'm going to I'm going to publish that. And um, what I'll do instead is just add a new page that's going to be just the gallery. So, and here's where I'm going to add that some um, gallery block. So I'll choose my media library, and we'll just choose all the photos, and we'll create a new gallery. You could put captions in there, which would be really helpful. So we'll just insert those. Uh, and again, we'll get some options here for how we want the gallery to look. I might go two column gallery and maybe make it a little bit wider. 
So that might be uh, Joe's professional gallery. I've got three columns. So that's kind of fun. <laughs> so we'll just say, that's good, we like it. We'll publish that. Let's publish. And if you remember, we made that button on the home page. So if I go back to all pages and go over to my home page and edit that, this button here, well, we want to make that a link. So I'll just click the text. And I'll click this little uh, link icon there. And I can look for the pages that I made earlier. I made a page called gallery. So I'll just type in gallery and it's popped up there. So if I click there, um, that button will now take people to Joe's gallery. So this is looking great. I'm just going to uh, update that. So it's live on the web. You can make updates while your website's live. You just click update and everything will be nice and up to date for you. So I'm gonna visit the site now. So I'll come up to visit. And it's looking good, but that home page we made before is not actually showing up. This is still that original blog, which is not what we wanted. We wanted that new cool home page we made to be the home page. And we could change that. We can come up to customize. So if you're logged into WordPress, you'll see this black bar at the top. So we'll click customize. There's a few ways of doing it. This is just one of them. And I can come to uh, home page settings. And instead of my latest posts, being my home page, I want to make the a static page, that home page we made be the home page. So I'll click a static page and then I'll get to choose. I don't want to choose gallery, I want the home page to be the home page. So and there it is, which is great. I can make some other changes while I'm here, like maybe I don't want there to be a, a tagline or maybe I don't want there to be a title at all. I think I do want there to be a title, I'm just going to get rid of this um, extra line. You can get rid of that. Um, and that's pretty good. There's options while you're here. Um, these things at the bottom are all called widgets, like a search widget or recent comments. You can keep them or you can get rid of them. I don't think we need this widget for recent posts because we're showing it just here. So again, I could just click on that little blue pencil and click remove because we don't really need this widget. And you could do some other things like change the text in the in the in this part of the footer and do some other things with other widgets that's worth having an explore. But that's fine. So we'll say this is this is good to go. So at the moment, Everything's pretty great. We've got a new website. I'll just click X because we've clicked publish now. So we've got a new website. We've got a little bit of Joe's work down here, which is great. People can click through and find out more about that particular piece. You can go back to the home page. They can look at this gallery. And you can already see how this is uh, this is useful for maybe putting together some, some professional work. So that is like a basic portfolio. That's using the default WordPress theme. And you can use this as a photography student, an illustration student, uh, lots of English students are using this to write essays and share those online. Um, computer and computing students have been using WordPress and then lots of staff have been using it for their portfolios or for joint research projects or international projects. They've been creating a website to host all their information. And you can do that straight away. You can just log in with your single sign-in credentials and get going. Uh, the one other thing I wanted to show you before we go is just changing the theme because at the moment we're in the default WordPress theme which is called 2021 and we would like to maybe see what else is available. So I'm gonna get back to the site and we're going to look at how we do that. So if I'm back to the dashboard, or it was even at the top there in themes, I'm gonna click on appearance on the left and then I'll click themes. Now here you can see you've got options, about a dozen or so themes that you can choose from. Uh, if you're on domains of one's own, so if you've installed WordPress yourself, and if you're managing all your plugins and, and doing all that stuff, it's a bit more manual, but you'll be able to then install other themes that you find in the wild. Whereas if you install a, um, or start a Coventry Domains WordPress account, we manage the themes for you. Um, with You will have to choose from one of the themes that we manage. So at the moment, there's 16 themes available. Uh, and you can always contact us if there's a particular good open source theme that you think we should maybe use too. So, at the moment, I think Joe's site is good. It might look good if I try a different one. So what I want to do is preview what it would look like in one of these other themes without actually changing it. So you can just hover over the theme and click Live Preview. And this will show you what the website will look like if you did change it to a different theme. So this one's kind of nice. You can see it's changed the layout. It's changed the kind of menu on the left and how that appears. And it's changed the sort of posts. If I click into a post, this is how it handles blog posts. So this theme's quite different but I think it's a little bit more appropriate to what Joe would want to do. Um, each theme also, uh, the developer will give you different options to change here in the customizer. So for this theme, which is called Koji, I could change the background color. So maybe I want to make this more of a, an off-white kind of 
gray sort of color or you know crazy purple so <laughs> it just sort of depends uh, on your theme that uh, what, what you can do with those some themes will give you options for changing like the fonts or changing some other things and how things appear some will let you put in like a background image and, and all kinds of stuff so I think that one's pretty good so let's say I don't want to go with that one uh, instead of clicking activate and publish I could just click X confirm that I don't need the changes and then look at one of these other themes in the wild so maybe try Hamilton for example and we think oh that's like clean and simple as well so kind of minimalist and maybe that would suit Joe's stuff so there's landscapes so this one's quite plain and, and minimal as well so let's just say that we're happy with this one I can click activate and publish and then that's live on the web so if I just X out of here and now visit my site again it's now uh, completely changed it's this new this new theme so that's uh, a lot different than it was before so <coughs> that is changing themes and that's great it's worth having a play and just seeing what the different themes look like and what you might want to do with them but that is pretty much it I think so with Coventry Domains WordPress you can make those themes uh, sorry change those themes change the posts you can go into appearance and menus and then add new menus add custom links there's loads that you can do. This is just a really basic, quick, up and running, get you started kind of video. But we'd encourage you to go and check out coventry.domains forward slash support and look at the how to use WordPress articles. There's loads of videos that show you all the different ins and outs, things that you can do with the editor, um, ways that you can add some new stuff in. Uh, it's, it's really good, give it a go. Uh, but yeah, try it out, see how it goes. And yeah, good luck. I hope you make some beautiful things and have really good portfolios and enjoy. So that's Coventry Domains WordPress.